segment. We are back with today's five things. We bring in the professionals to share five things they would never do based on their areas of expertise. So this morning we have with us a plumber, a nanny, and a veterinarian. And we're going to start right here with Roger Wakefield. He's from Dallas, Texas. He has more than 40 years of plumbing experience. And get this, a half million subscribers on his YouTube channel. Roger, you're like a famous plumber. Savannah, good morning. This, good. this is so much fun. Thank it's you. really nice to have you here. And this is one of those things that, you know, people are so intimidated about plumbing. So let's start with your first tip. You would never be unaware of how to turn the water off at your house. Explain. When people have a major leak, a hose breaks, a fixture breaks, a toilet breaks, anything like that, they don't know where to turn the water off. Mm. If they'll turn the water off immediately, that can save them thousands of dollars instead of just flooding more of their house. This is something you need to know before you have a problem. Always. Okay, okay. Up next, you would never pour chemicals or oil down the drain. Okay, why not? Well, chem the, number one, the chemicals damage the pipes. A lot of times people want to pour the chemicals in to clean it out because they've poured oil after cooking. Things like that should never go down the drain. Put it in a jar, put it in the trash can, put it anywhere but down your plumbing. And oil, what? It just congeals? and It does. It yeah. gets cold, it binds up, and that's going to cause clogs that anything will stick to. What about those chemical drain cleaners? Are those okay? Those are no-nos. They oh. really do. They damage most of your pipes. Wow. They're good for PVC, but other pipes, they can literally cause problems. Okay. You would never flush non-plumber approved wipes down the toilet. That's true. Baby wipes. Baby wipes have a plastic binding fiber. If you grab some and try to pull them apart, you can hardly pull them apart. Yeah. What I recommend are plumber approved wipes that literally you can tear them like toilet tissue. How do you know they're plumber approved? Look on the packaging, make sure it says it's been tested by plumbers and is approved by okay. plumbers. Okay, cool. Um, you'd never forget to change your washer and dryer hoses. How am I supposed to change my washer and dryer hoses? Can anyone do that? You can. It just takes a wrench to unconnect the hoses. Make sure you turn off the valve yeah. where you've got them hooked up. Again, this is a great reason to know where to shut the water off yep. in case that valve doesn't and shut. And why up. do we need to do that? Because they, they rupture. They get oh. old, they break, you come home to a flood. Okay, then last but not least, you would never wait until an emergency to find a plumber to have you on speed dial. Th that is so big. Nobody wants to wait till they have an emergency to find out who their plumber is. Yeah. At that point, it's going to be the first guy who answers his phone and says he'll be there. Do research, check reviews, know a plumber, electrician, a roofer, and an HVAC technician before you have a plumber. Okay, that's great. Roger, thank you. His YouTube channel, check it out, Roger Wakefield. Appreciate it. That was oh, great. Yeah. That was great, Roger. I learned a lot. Okay, I'm here with Child. Child care influencer nanny Miss no Monique Dupree. She's a career nanny more than 25 years in the industry in Chicago. She's got five things she would never do when hiring a nanny or a babysitter. All right, Monique, these are really good ones. All right, here's your number one. You would never assume your sitter knows your child's schedule, like where the pickup spot is and where the drop off is. Absolutely. Yeah. Mommy and daddy knows best. So yeah. set a schedule for your babysitter. Yeah. Make sure that you plan out the rules. Yeah. Make sure the babysitter knows the rules, the activities, and the meals for the night. And also leave your contact information so you guys can keep in touch yeah. so you can feel at ease when you leave and go out on your date. Right. Don't just say she goes to swim at 2.30. Say she goes to swim lesson. You have to go in this door at the swim place, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Absolutely. Okay. You would. Here's another one. Your second one. You would never forget to show a sitter how to use any essential items, meaning what? Absolutely. So if you have a baby you want to tell them where is the ba the bottle warmer and how oh, yeah. to use it this, how to use it how to use it the sound machine yes also how to open up the stroller if you have older kids and they need to go on their tablet and do their homework you want to teach the babysitter how to use that mm -hmm. tablet or if you have a garage door opener that the nanny needs to get in and out you want to teach them how to use any essentials in your day-to-day -day life and also like if your kid likes to sleep in socks don't o omit that that important piece of information because the child might be crying and Anything they won't know that's well. in your day to day life you want to explain. Okay, never overlook having an emergency plan in place. This one you got to have. You have to have an emergency plan in place. It's so important. Have a clear list of contacts and details just in case there's an emergency. Mm -hmm. Have them written down and put them somewhere where the nanny can see and make sure you go over it before you leave. Very important number four you would never underpay. So how do parents know what fair pay might be? You need to Google the appropriate pay for your state. If mm -hmm. you don't know, you can always go to Indeed. Yeah. And you can adjust it based on experience. Yeah, otherwise the 
babysitter probably won't come back anyway, so that might be it. Yeah. All right, here's a good one. <laughs> this is very important. Don't forget the babysitter safety, meaning if the babysitter stays till after bedtime, it's 8 o'clock, and you say, bye, and she's saying, like, how am I getting home? Absolutely. Yeah. So if your babysitter drove that night, yeah. make sure she calls you when she gets home. Yeah. If your nanny or babysitter uh, mm -hmm. to public transportation yes. or if they walked to your home, make sure that you drive them home or you call them an Uber. Yeah, those are all great tips. Monique, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Let's go over to Carson. He's got our final expert. Turns out New York's not cheap. Thank you, Hoda. <laughs> thank you, uh, Monique. All right, so we've got veterinarian Dr. Brett Levitsky. He's been a vet more than 25 years and is the chief medical officer at Verg Brooklyn here in New York. We've got five things that pet owners should never do. Some of these things seem obvious, Doc, but some of them are surprises. Sure. Let's just go ahead and start with over-the-counter human medicine. I didn't even think people did that for their pets, but I guess they do. They do because it's heartbreaking when you see your pet sick or in pain, and the first thing they do is reach for their medicine cabinets. The problem is the ibuprofen you and I take mm -hmm. for our achy ankle can put your dog in kidney failure. Or the, the acetaminophen we might take for a fever mm -hmm. can be devastating to your cat's liver. Never give a medication without speaking to your vet. Well, that's a great one right there. Let's move on. This one really surprised me because I see them all the time. These are these leashes that are retractable. They seem like a great idea. You say they're not necessarily. Terrible idea, especially in the city. The problem with retractable leashes is they give you the least amount of control when you need it the most. If you're walking down the street with your dog right. and he sees a squirrel run into the road, First thing he's going to do is take off, and then he's going to be hit by a car because you don't have control. Even worse than that, yeah. I see people with their dogs off leash here in the city. It blows my mind because if they see another dog, they're going to run to them, get in a dog fight, or they'll go pick something up and eat it, and then they're in the ER. Right, you have no control over the dog None. at that point. So we see people give dogs, you know, human food all the time at the dinner table. I, that's a bad idea, and you say why? Because you have to know the risks. There are a lot of risks out there. Our refrigerators and our pantries are chock full of potential toxins for our pets. That cinnamon raisin bagel you may have eaten for breakfast this morning, don't give it to your dog because raisins are toxic to dogs. Right. And for cats, forget about the stereotype that they love milk. They may like it, but most adult cats are actually lactose intolerant wow. and it'll cause vomiting and diarrhea. Wow, that's a great one. And then finally, um, that's good to know, good information. Uh, dogs, uh, pets' teeth. I mean, I, we dental health, what do we need to know? Don't ignore their teeth. Dental disease in dogs, think gingivitis, tooth root abscesses, they can be very painful for them. Further, they can cause serious infections in the heart, in the liver, and in the kidneys. The good news, it's potentially avoidable. If you get them involved in daily brushing when they're a puppy, right. it's going to be part of a daily routine. They make toothbrushes that fit right on your finger, <laughs> and you can just brush the food away. We both have three-year-olds. I'm thinking about it. i got to get the dog to brush their <laughs> teeth and the three-year-old now. And lastly, you can just comment quickly on this one. That is the, the dogs and the pets in cars. Don't leave them in a car unattended, not even for a second. Not even for a few minutes. On a beautiful 75-degree day, it can become 100 right. degrees in your car within 10 minutes. Well, that's great. Great stuff all the way around. Thank you so much to Brett, Roger, and Nanny, Miss Monique. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.